In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice finding the area and perimeter of trapezoids. In example A, it says to find the area of the trapezoid below. So remember our formula for finding the area of a trapezoid is you want to take the two bases and add them up. So those are the two parallel sides. Then multiply by the height and then divide by two. So in this problem, eight can be our base one and 14 our base two because those are the two parallel sides. And it actually doesn't matter. You could call eight base two and 14 base one. And 11 is going to be our height. So now we just need to substitute those three values into the formula. So the area will be eight, which is base one, plus 14, which is base two, times the height, which is 11, divided by two. So first you wanna add up eight plus 14, which gives you 22, and then times by 11, and then divide by two. So 22 times 11 is 242, and then you divide by two to get your final answer of 121 units squared. Remember that for area, you always wanna have units squared because area is the number of little unit squares it would take to fill up the shape. In example B, again, find the area of the trapezoid below. So our formula is base one plus base two times the height divided by two. In this problem, 15 will be base one, 23 will be base two, and the height will be nine. So the area is 15 plus 23 times the height of nine divided by two. So that means the area is 38 times nine divided by two. So that gives us 342 divided by two, which is 171 units squared. All right, and let's look at example C. Find the perimeter and area of the trapezoid. Now in this trapezoid, we're given that eight is base one, and we know that our height is four, but we don't know our base two. So we're gonna to have to do some extra work to figure those out. Notice that off to the left, we have a triangle, and it's a right triangle with a 45 degree angle. That means it's actually a 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. So we can figure out the other two sides of this triangle using the special pattern. So since one of the legs is four, the other leg will also be four, and the hypotenuse will be four root two. Now, thinking about this portion, if we were to divide off another triangle over here, this length will be eight, because we have a rectangle here in the middle, and opposite sides of rectangles are congruent. Now, for the other triangle, because this length right here is the height of the trapezoid, it must be four, because the height of the trapezoid is four. So this means this triangle over here is also a 45, 45, 90 triangle with a height of four. So the other leg will also be length four and the hypotenuse will be length four root two. Now we have enough information in order to figure out the area and the perimeter. The base two down here will be four plus eight plus four, which is 16. So 16 will be our base two. So the area of a trapezoid is base one plus base two times the height divided by two. So in this problem, that's eight plus 16 times four divided by two. So eight plus 16 is 24, and then we'll times that by four and divide by two. So that gives us 96 divided by two, which is 48 units squared. Now for the perimeter, the perimeter of any shape is the distance around the shape. So you always wanna take up the length of all the sides and add them up. In this case, it's a trapezoid, so it has four sides. Eight, four root two, 16, and four root two again. So for the perimeter, we will add up all four of those sides. Eight plus four root two plus 16 plus four root two again. And when we combine like terms, we end up with the perimeter is 24 plus eight root two units long.